Dan, I'd love to know who, which of those two teams would you rather be now in the coming weeks? Like, who do you think between Ireland and South Africa is slightly more set to go on and win a World Cup? Like Ireland, I think. Uh, um, look, again, there. I think it's such a, I said it there, it's such a weird game that they're both, like, it's almost like a win for both of them um, because they tested themselves. They both came through relatively clean bill of health um, they've had a, the equivalent of a final kind of intensity in the group stage um, and they both have a lot to work on but like they'll take confidence now both teams going into their their quarter that they can they're at the top level now and they're ready to, they're ready to go again so um, I think look I think Ireland um, I just I loved what I saw um, South Africa obviously have the same side but I love what I saw from them. Um, you know, they, they always get question marks over physicality and all this. You can't deal with this, can't do that. And, you know, the last, the, the, the most recent one was that they haven't played anyone at the top level for a long time. But, um, you know, they, they again, came to fit. Um, they're playing some serious rugby and they'll have a lot, they have a lot of um, fixes now. They've got a nice week off, um, which is, which is, going to be huge and then they have a Scotland game where I don't know will they will they go full strength again or will they might swap one or two guys in and get them some more exposure coming up to the bigger games because like if you look at how well that bench did they've got an amazing luxury now where they can probably not go 100% full noise for that game and 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 make sure they're they're ready full strength for the quarter so yeah it's interesting same question to you Birch uh, I think it's, I think You'd rather be South Africa, just yeah. <laughs> uh, in a final, I would. I think they'll beat France. I think they'll beat France in the quarter final. Um, they're the worst team France could play because they don't like. If you look at how Fra France's attack, uh, France actually aren't that well drilled at the moment. Their attack is actually very average in terms of like shapes, but they're relying on these individuals to light it up, and, and that's obviously hard to shut down. But I think South Africa have enough individuals who can match that X factor that the France have without the Pont. The pressure now that comes on no. in that quarter final. I think the Pont will play in the semi final if they get there. Um but I think that puts massive pressure on Luku. Um it's actually interesting, um Murad Borgella, the Toulon uh manager and or ex president and he speaks a lot of shit, but uh he had a good point at the weekend. He said that they should look at bringing Baptiste Serran mm. in to start. He's not on the squad at the moment. <laughs> yeah. but, but he's probably right. He probably mm. is that type of Mimicking. Yeah, yeah, he's like Dupont. He, and, and he's got an unbelievable X Factor. He's got um, unbelievable belief in himself. And I think it puts a lot of pressure. Luca's a good player, um, but he's not. I actually think Saran is a better player, if you know what I mean, for what they need in big pressure. And I don't think that's going to happen. It'll be a massive call from Galtier to do that. Um, so I think the box will put massive pressure on France. Squeeze them. Um, sque uh, they won't be as vulnerable at a set piece as New Zealand were, which kind of carried France in that first half. Um, so then I think we'll end up playing South Africa in the final. And while I've no doubt we can hurt them, it's going to be so much harder in the final. You know what I mean? Like, and I, and I think they're going to close up and just double down on kicking game, set piece, and defence. So yeah, I, I think they got more. I, I think they come out as in a. We needed to win. We needed to win, given everything that happened, um, and 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 we did win, and we'll get better for it. But I, I certainly, my estimation of South Africa has gone up, if mm. that makes sense. I still think Ireland can win it, but I I, I think they they've come out as laughing. <laughs> no, That's honestly, so because concerning. because of how they like Razzie made a lot of mistakes. Really, you know what I mean? Like he's been lauded for being creative, uh, but we have to question. Um, we have to challenge now on some of the decisions. You know, I mean, even going for his long range shots at goal, and it was him dictating this, you know, without a kicker. And I know it's such a tight game, he has to go for it, but yeah. I, um, but he didn't have to go for it, though, right? No, he didn't like, have to go for it, but sorry, like it, it improved. They, it they won't do it again. They won't do it again. Mm. No, they won't do it again. But maybe he makes other mistakes. Coaches yeah. kind of sometimes lose that, that touch they have. Yeah. I always felt the winner of that quarterfinal, France, South Africa was going to win it now. Mm. And Dupont's injury. It's titanically important to them. Like they're talking about getting him a special molded face mask now. You would hope he doesn't play if his face is still. No, you play. He, he play. the pressure. Think, on, I, the pressure on him is remarkable. Yeah. 
just to just to be on the pitch because without him it does kind of yeah. fall apart a little bit. I know they have a great squad and all, but he is the emblem of that team and he's the emblem of the whole the whole tournament. Two things for Ireland, like touch wood, but so far no injuries. It's it's remarkable, really. And they'll get Conan back for the Scotland game and they, he's been worth the wait. And I know there's been some criticism of that, which is just bizarre, I think, given they haven't rotated the team. He's a player who's worth waiting for and could have a really big impact on the rest of the tournament. And then the other bit is the mentality of the squad is so different to before. You think of 2015 when Ireland won that big pool game against France, it felt like they'd won a trophy. And this wasn't the case at all with this squad. When you watch them going around, they're you might go, oh, they're doing a lap of honour. They're actually going around and say thanks to the fans for this incredible occasion. And they were so calm afterwards. They were straight on to the point that we've lots to improve on. We've done nothing. Let's go and beat Scotland now and keep our momentum going that way. They're not here to win a pool game. They're here to win the, the whole tournament. And I love that mindset that they have. And then the other bit is the actual occasion around it. There's something brewing. It's been phenomenal so far. And after the Romania and the Tonga games, you kind of held back and you said, look, they've just beaten two teams they should have beaten well. But they beat South Africa well with this unbelievable wave of support behind them. And they seem to be genuinely blown away by it. I've never heard Johnny Sexton speak as emotionally about it. He said he'd never, ever seen anything like it. So I think they'll feel there's something special behind them as as well. And I haven't been at home, but even judging off the the number of people that are in touch with me about rugby now, it's different to previous World Cups. It's... They've got this momentum. momentum. Yeah, and, it, and and that being said, you know, if, they, if they're back in the Stade de France, they'll almost, like, it's effectively a home game. It is. You know what I mean? The atmosphere and the support was like uh, nothing I've ever, ever seen before. So, yeah, and, and just to go back to your point there about, you know, they, they won that uh, game in France, uh, or they beat France in that game. They went into a quarters the week after. So they actually have a week off now, which is huge in terms of recovery, but also just to kind of, a bit of a breather like they've almost had a final they can like take some time i think they're off till wednesday um see their families uh go off do bits and bobs um that's huge just that kind of switch off time and then they can go right we've got scotland here and then hopefully the next kind of stage in the tournament so a bit of time to re- uh, relax and switch off and then kind of the rest of the tournament is it's it's actually I didn't really like the the format when we got it when we got mm. our group stage list at the start I would, I would have said something like gives Romania and then South Africa or something but it actually built really nice time off to reset and then they get another build up toward the the, the later stage yeah I, I think we're going strong against Scotland I don't think there's any there's any I don't think we'll just given lads game time I, I don't see that happen I think he'll go as strong as he possibly can because then there's only a week but I- 